it's just so noisy, distracting, cluttered, obscuring, and redundant. Look at all the text on this dial. You know, I don't understand it. Why would anything need this much text on the dial? I know what this watch is. I'm the one who bought it, right? I spent hours, hours upon hours, researching this watch, poring over Instagram photos, and then I had to pry my glued eyeballs off of my cell phone from watching hours of reviews on this exact same watch. I know this watch can dive to 500 meters. That's why I bought the watch. I know it's a Pelagos, that's, that's how I ended up buying it because I had to punch that name into Google. Yeah, why? <sighs> Clarity, serenity, this is just right. There's nothing more going on here but the brand name on the dial. It's quiet, it's clean. This is something that I could pass on after I die. Maybe to a child, if I ever have one. Or maybe a child of one of my brothers. Um, possibly a friend. Or, shoot, the odd passerby who happens to observe my lifeless corpse on the side of the road or something like that. Now, let's go ahead and take that person's thoughts. Humor me, and let's just say I have a child. What would the thoughts of my child be? Now, I think we all know that oftentimes it's not guaranteed that a child will follow what the parents are passionate about. So, let's say the child walks into my room after I pass and finds this one watch and decides, hmm, I like that. That looks very interesting. I wonder if mom will mind me taking it. Oh, a Bulova? Hmm, interesting. Swiss made? Okay. I think I remember dad saying something about how the Swiss were really good at watch stuff. But, um, hmm, I can't get it to run. I'm giving it a tap, maybe shaking it. Man, I really wish I paid attention to what dad was babbling about when it comes to these watches. I have no idea how to get it to run. Is it one of those automatics that he was always on about? Hmm. It doesn't say anything anywhere about how to get it to run or man, even what it is. Let me just Google the name. Oh. Well, that didn't get me very far. There's a whole mess load of Bulova. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hmm. I have no idea. Is this a dive watch? He really liked dive watches. Why wouldn't it be a dive watch, right? It's got to be a dive watch. I, you know what? I, I don't even know. Th this is just way too much, way too cryptic. Uh, maybe I'll go find some other thing that he liked. Maybe that'll be worth something. Surely this is nothing. I know what you're thinking. Minuteman, all that text could just go on the back of the watch. But take a look at this. This watch doesn't have anything like that. There's nothing for that child or future person to go off of to figure out what in the heck this is. Unless they do some really extensive digging and they get really into it. But all it says is stainless steel and the company and you got some numbers, whatever the hell N0 means, right? So maybe the hate for text on the dial is coming from the perspective of a watch nerd. Maybe it's not meant for you. Maybe it's meant for someone else, someone that you have not met yet, or maybe even, you know, your child. Not all kids follow their parents' passions, but this text might give them a start in their research as to what mom or dad's watch was, why it might have been so special. And then who knows? 
Maybe something as simple as this red line of Pelagos on the dial will make them fall in love with it like you did. <laughs> Just some watch thoughts. <laughs>